I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trapezoids. We will learn how to find perimeter and area of trapezoids with the help of three examples. Here is the very first example for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. We are given a trapezoid whose parallel sides are of length 4 and 10 units and the distance between the parallel sides is 8 that we call as height. So from the given information we can directly find the area. So area of this trapezoid will be equal to sum of these two sides which is 10 plus 4 times 8 the height divided by 2. Right? So that becomes the area. You can always use a calculator if required to find the exact answer. So we get 10 plus 4 as 14 times 8 divided by 2. So this could be simplified. 8 divided by 2 will give you 4. And then you can multiply 14 by 4 to get the answer. 4 times 4 is 16. 6 and 1. So you get 56 unit square. So area was simpler in this particular case. How are you going to find the perimeter of this particular trapezoid? That is slightly tricky. Now if you look at this, perimeter is sum of all the sides, right? So now let's look into the perimeter part. But we don't know the length of that side. So to find this, we'll actually drop a line making a triangle and a rectangle. Now as you can see, here we have a right triangle whose sides are what? Uh, the height is 8, we know that, and this will be 10 minus 4, which is 6. So we have a triangle here from where you can find the hypotenuse. So at times when you're working with trapezoids, you might have to use Pythagorean theorem to find missing length, right? So that is a key. So we'll say use Pythagorean theorem to find the missing length. So first let us find that missing length. Let's call this as L. Now this length L is equal to square root of 6 square plus 8 square. Okay. So that is 36 plus 64. Use calculator, I will say that. And that is 100. So we get length as 10. Okay, so, so we get this length as equals to 10. Now you can find the perimeter. So the perimeter for this particular trapezoid is equal to sum of all the sides, external sides only, right? So we have 4 plus 10, which we just calculated another side 10 plus 8 and that gives you 24 and 8 32 32 units so it's kind of important to understand that at times we may construct a right triangle so we may construct a right triangle kind of like this and use Pythagorean theorem. So let me rewrite the Pythagorean theorem here. If the two sides, are, if the sides of a triangle are A, B, and C, where C is the hypotenuse, the longer side square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. And we can find the side, the longer side in this case, by making square root of the sum of squares of the other two sides, correct? So this formula could be used to find the missing length. So it is a very important and useful formula to remember. With that in mind, let's move forward and do the next example. Now here, I have made a small change. This time, we do not know height. So this time, height is missing. You need to find area and perimeter of the trapezoid. How are you going to find it? So we are given the length of this side. These two sides are equal. So basically that is also equal to 4 units. 
So let's find the perimeter first. Since the height is missing, we'll find the perimeter first. So perimeter is straightforward in this case, which is sum of all these sides. So we get 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4, which is 14 units. So we get 14 units as our answer for perimeter. Now how do we find the height of this particular trapezoid? So for that we'll again construct, so we'll drop a perpendicular from one of the parallel sides to the other. So what we get is a, is a triangle. Now we can find what is this length of one triangle. So I'll just make it a bigger view of this here. So we have a triangle here, which is a right triangle. So I'm just making slightly bigger. So this one, right? So this is the triangle. In this triangle, we know the length of the hypotenuse is 4. What is the smaller length? Total is 4. This is 2. So this is 2. 4 minus 2 divided equally will give us 1. So these sides are 1 each. So 1. We need to find the height. Let's call this height as h. To find the height, again, we will use Pythagorean theorem. This time, we have to find the height, a smaller side. So what is that height equals to? We know height square plus 1 square will be 4 square, but height is smaller side. So it is equal to the difference of squares, not the sum of squares. This is important to understand. So which is equal to square root of 4 square is 16 minus 1. So that is square root of 15. Now, when you know the height, you can easily find the area, correct? So the area is equal to sum of these two sides, which is 2 plus 4, right? Sum of sides times height, which is square root of 15, divided by 2, correct? So that is 6 divided by 2 times square root 15, or is equal to 3 times square root 15. So now we need to use calculator to find decimal value. So 3 times square root of 15 is equal to, in decimals, 11.61. So the area is equal to 11.6 unit square. If you round it to what decimal place, correct? So that is how you are going to do it. So what do you notice here? is that again we use Pythagorean theorem this time to find the height. Now when you find the height then you have to do difference of squares not the sum since the longest side is already given to you. Correct? Now here is the last question which can be treated as a test question for you. So I like you to pause the video copy this question take it as a test question right. So let me write down test here. Draw a trapezoid with two right angles, one base 6 cm, the other base three, 4 cm and height 3 cm. Then find the perimeter and area of the trapezoid. Okay, so to solve this question, we can first construct it. So I'll make an approximate diagram here. So we are saying we have two base, one six and one three, and height of four. So let me begin with the height of four, okay? Now let me make a bigger space base here for six, and a smaller one, three units, on the top. So that is what is given to you. And we just join these two sides, corners, and make a trapezoid. So these are two right angles, which we constructed just now. Is it okay? Now we need to find both area and perimeter of this particular trapezoid. Since we are given the opposite sides and the height, area is easy, right? So area equals to sum of opposite sides, which is 3 plus 6 times height, which is 4, divided by 2, which is 9 times 4 divided by 2, which goes... 18 units square. Now units are centimeters, so it is centimeters square. Correct? 
So all these sides are given to us in centimeters. Now, how do I find the perimeter? To find the perimeter, I need to construct a right triangle by dropping a line perpendicular. So these two lines are parallel and they are perpendicular. So we have a right triangle here. Now in this triangle, what is the length of this side? Now this is 3, right? So this is 3, total is 6, so that has to be 3 also. Now this is 4, these two sides are equal, so this has to be 4. We can find the hypotenuse for this particular triangle. Let's call this length L as equal to square root of 4 square plus 3 square. Since it is a longer side, it is addition of these two squares, right? So we get 16 plus 9 square root, which is square root of 25, and L is equal to 5. Once we know L is equal to 5 units of centimeters, we can easily find the perimeter. You get the idea, right? So now we can write perimeter is sum of sides, which is 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5. Correct? So 6 plus 4, 10 and 8, 18 centimeters. Wow. You get the same quantity for area and perimeter in this particular case. That is interesting. So what we learned in this series is that to find area and perimeter of a trapezoid, we might use Pythagorean theorem. So you have to review Pythagorean theorem to answer these questions and also know the area formula, which is A plus B times height divided by 2 for a trapezoid. Perfect. So that is what you need to remember to solve any question based on perimeter and area of a trapezoid. I hope this exercise helps you. Thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. And if you share my videos with your friends, that will be even better. Thank you and all the best.